Hello and welcome everyone, my name is Sergio and I will be your guide through this game Idle Hands. Alright, so let's start a new a new campaign. Let's go. Alright, starting a new campaign will erase all the progress from the previous campaigns. So let's just go with it. For centuries, the furling tribes fought each other for control over the land. Eventually, with their world ravaged by war and the furlings on the brink of extinction, the tribal leaders called out to the heavens for aid. Their call was heard by a cruel and twisted god who came to the furling world intent on ruling over the scattered tribes and crushing them into submission. For years, the malevolent deity ruled over the furlings, breaking their spirit and warping them into his loyal subjects. All opposition was crushed mercilessly. In desperation, the leader of one of the last remaining three tribes called out to the heavens again, pleading for a kind and compassionate god to save his people from their suffering. A young and inexperienced god heard the cries and knew that they were the only one who could stand between the dark god and the total destruction of the furlings. That god is the only one who can bring peace to the furlings world. That god is you. Alright, so uh, it looks like a very touching story. Anyhow guys in the loading screen you have this little pieces of advices that will help you when you when you play. In the beginning. Welcome! Welcome, oh mighty one. We furlings have waited long for your coming. You must help us defeat the enemy and save the free tribes. As the oldest and wisest of the tribe. I will be your guide. Oh, that's very good. Let me show you our home. Press and hold your left mouse button to select the terrain. Keep the left mouse button pressed and move your mouse to look around our village. Alright, so let's do as the old man said. Let's press the left click and let's move around. Yes, it works. You can rotate your view by holding the right mouse button and moving the mouse backwards and forwards. Alright, let's do that as well. It does work. I cannot complain. As a god, you have power over the land itself. First I will teach you to raise mountains. Simply click on the raise land icon in the bottom left of the screen or press the R key. All right, so we can either press R or we can uh, click here and bam, we raise the land. Creating mountains is a great way to raise a barrier between your village and the enemies or to remove areas of flat land near their borders to slow their expansion. I you agree. can also lower the land. To do it, click on the lower land icon in the bottom left of the screen or press the P key. Alright, so we can uh, click here and there you can see that the, uh, the land is going down or we can press P. Lowering the land is a good way of removing mountains quickly. You can also use it to expose resources hidden under the ground. Your furlings need areas of flat, empty land to build on. You can make some by clicking on the flattened land icon in the bottom left of the screen, or press the F key. You can expand a flat area by doing this next to it. Alright, so we can click here, or we can press F. It works. Flattening land your furlings to build on costs twice as much mana as simply raising or lowering so you should think carefully before you start expanding your village every time you use your powers you spend mana this is the energy you gain from the worshipping of your people the bigger your population the faster you gain mana you can see how much mana you have left in the bar on the left of the screen 
You can only use your powers when the appropriate icon is lit up. If you want to move quickly from one location to another, you can use the overhead map. To use the overhead, click. Okay, I already did that. Sorry. Click on the sorry. location to center the view on it. Click on the map in the top right, or press the space key again to zoom in. Don't worry, the game is paused in this view. Hmm. Good to know. So um, I clicked on the mini map, and it uh, got me here. And right now. I can see the entire the entire island. Oh look, a volcano! Yeah, very nice. If you need a break, you can pause the game at any time by pressing the escape key. Select resume to return to the game. All right. Resume and bam. In the middle of each village is the origin stone. This is where tasks are given to unoccupied furlings. To jump directly to the origin stone, click on the origin stone icon in the top left of the screen. It is the third icon. Or you can press the return key. Doing this for a second time will take you back to your original location. Alright, so let's press uh, on this icon which uh, signifies the origin stone. Your buildings can't build new buildings without wood. Click on the brown woodcutter symbol to turn one of your idle furlings into a woodcutter. Yep, the woodcutter does not cost a thing. That's the best part. All workers will start by building a home. After a woodcutter has built their hut, they will head out to cut down nearby trees and bring them back for your furlings to build with. The icons on the right of the screen show you how many of each type of furling is living in your village. You can see how much wood is available on the icon at the top of the screen. Each woodcutter's hut only has room for 10 units of wood, and the forests can only sustain 10 woodcutters. It's important to have enough farmers to feed all the furlings in your village. Click on the green farmer symbol to make one now. You can keep track of how much food is required and how much is being produced in your village on the green icon at the top of the screen. The land can only support 10 farmers. If there's not enough food to feed everyone, the first number will turn red and your furlings will start starving. Click the origin stone icon to leave the origin stone. Alright, I did that several times. Up to five unoccupied furlings will stand around the origin stone. When you assign a task to one, a new one will appear after a few seconds. Make sure you have enough food to feed them all. The key to expanding your village is to carefully balance the numbers of each type of furling. Remember, the more furlings you have, the faster your mana grows. As your furlings build more buildings, your village boundary will expand. Growing your borders will give you access to more resources and keep your furlings better protected. There is much more for you to learn, but that will have to wait until later. You are needed elsewhere in the fight against the enemy. Alright guys, so um, this was it for now. Uh, thank you for watching.